Howdy, my fellow wooden waters. You're looking at the center feed uh, air pipe for my uh, Phoenix gasifier here. I don't know if others have got this sort of thing going on, but I keep on burning out the end of the nozzle. Sort of looks like it's exploded, like the end of a bad tempered shotgun. What's happening is uh, I have me this uh, steel cap here and these holes around the perimeter to let the air into the burn zone but the whole thing just burns out and falls apart like it has here after about 20 hours of gasifier run time. Uh, it's normally arranged something like this so we got our air feed going down to that little hole there representing the uh, burn zones top portion and for some reason I just keep burning these out I get the feeling that others are having better luck than I am with them so in a coffee fueled wood gas bug venom enhanced thought session I came up with this little thing this kind of reminds me of those crane things that you put your 10 cents or 20 cents in and it gives you a few minutes to pick up your favourite toy. And my plan is to have it something like this. If I can just get this right, the way the sun's shining in here, it's messing with the camera's outlook on it. Let's try that. Those nozzles that I've got there would sit something like that thereby representing the uh, function of a standard invert gasifier to a fairly good degree. This rather rough construction, if it proves itself, will be enhanced. What we have here is the air intake that will be coupled up to that which goes to the wall of the gasifier. So we'll be cutting off here, cutting off here, joining them up. So as when it's actually dropped down into the hopper, we'll have that sort of position relative to the top of the hearth. Anyway, what I've got is um, air feed down here. It's divided into these three arms and these axial pieces here. And that's delivered to pipe caps that have been drilled to serve as noozles. It's pretty rough, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I get this feeling the gas supply don't really care just how rough that looks, as long as it works. And if it works, yep, I'll enhance upon this, or improve upon it, I mean, and come up with something a bit more permanent. As, uh, I've got a couple of ideas that I want to try while the uh, weather's nice during our summer to get my gasifier working properly. As I have to admit, the novelty, replacing this every 20 hours or so, it's starting to wear off. <laughs> okay, more to come as I uh, hot glue these two pieces together and uh, give it a try in the Phoenix. Alrighty then, ciao for now. This little piece here, this little mock-up piece, this represents an alternative approach. Requires a bit of work though, but the idea is to have three of these air intakes. Normally there's one for our gasifiers, but if I had three placed at even intervals around the uh, the hopper lid, or top I mean, and we have this little puppy here kind of plugged in like that and then retained on the other side by a threaded insert to lock it in place that bit down there could end in a nozzle sort of like the ones on my little crane claw imagine that three of these you just drop them into place sort of like I've done there 
makes them easy to replace, repair, whatever. So, if the crane claw thing actually works, that's probably what I'm going to go for. It's summertime here in New Zelda, which means I've got me a bit of TikTok and spare sunshine to make the power while the gasifier is offline. If it doesn't work, well, I'll blame faulty wood gas bug venom. <laughs> but first things first. That is to install this in there and then mount the crane claw down there into place. So a fair old bit of measuring needs to take place and a bit of metal working too to get these things fitting together. Alrighty then, the Nozlomatic 9000 has been fitted so the original central downpipe has been removed and uh, this triple nozzle arrangement, assuming it's even visible to the camera, um, has uh, taken its place. Those nozzles are about two inches ab uh, above the opening of the half. That's a fairly typical, I'd su I suggest, um, for a little gasificator like this. And it remains to be seen whether this will even work. But, well, you got to try stuff if you want to find out about it. I don't know if you can hear the crunching and grinding going on in the background. But that's progress, getting closer and closer to destroying this property. Things ain't looking too good for the future of this property. Take you a look, see at this. Those machines and a whole bunch more have been very busy in the past uh, couple of three months and they spell doom for my lifestyle so I don't got to move me out of here the sooner the better according to me hopefully I'll be able to profit from that and move on to a better place anyway more immediate concerns are mine to behold I'm getting ready to fire this little puppy up. Right, here's the um, air inlet regulating machine, which uh, I should probably point the camera at. Give us a moment here. All right. One air control valve thing installed. So in the open position, this will be able to take air in from the outside when the lid is closed. I've been quite impressed actually with how well this domed lid is working. Uh, it doesn't seem to stick to the rim of the hopper and uh, it does seem to drain quite nicely uh, each time I open it, which is very good. Actually it works better than the original. So, no complaints there. Into the darkness, in the absence of a lamp, we last time look for the now. Alrighty. Whether this will work or not remains to be seen. Ciao for now, boys and girls. Alrighty, we have us the flare. It's pretty intense, quite different from what I'm used to from this gasifier, but we have um, what I often hear referred to as a Halloween orange, it's real pretty, 
damn hot too. It's really given off some heatiology, but then this is a summer's day, so that could be it. Also, at the base of the plane, it's kind of a washed out blue. It's, uh, yeah, I have to say, this gasifier is behaving very differently from how it has in the past. And I'm starting to think that just maybe my new nozzle system is a winner. Uh, naturally, I need to give this time to prove itself. Let's see if I can get it from another angle here without melting the camera. That's pretty intense. I'm pretty impressed. So, I'll give it some more time to prove itself here. Yeah, system's leaking like a booger. But, uh, it hasn't exploded yet, as far as I know. So I'll give this some more time to prove itself. Then I'll feed the gas towards the grunter. And see if I can make some putt-putt noises in the engine room. Alright, we have the secondary flare going now. It's exceedingly difficult to see, but there really is a blue flame in there, honest. My first impression at this is that this gasifier is running a little cleaner now than it used to. Um, if I could just show you the flame, unfortunately, it's really hard to see. I'll try looking down into the burner. Okay, you can see it a bit more now, the flame and the darkness of the burner. It's very, it's quite tall, and it's definitely giving off a lot of heat. The flame is perhaps 15 inches tall at the moment. So, I guess the next logical step was to yank on the rope while praying to the wood gas gods to see where the putt putt comes from the grunter. We'll see, won't we? Well, unfortunately it doesn't work. All it does is make this engine sound produce electricity. What use is that? Remains to be seen whether I've actually improved the gas supplier. But so far, yeah, the sign seems to be pretty positive. Let's do some racing, eh? Did not do that too much in case I blow up the alternator. But um, what's interesting is I've never used to do that. I couldn't rev it up like that in the past. So, um, yeah, looks like something's gone right. Sweet as. Smell the exhaust. Mmm, unicorn farts. Well, so far so good. Uh, I need to give this more time to really prove itself. But at the moment, the uh, test results are very encouraging. If this works out, they'll make a much better effort uh, on the nozzle front than just improve the gas supply as I go. So it has power for next winter.
happy with the result so far. Here's the primary flare. It's mostly blue with a little bit of yolange in it. Well, orange. That's not bad for a completely unfiltered flare. Not bad at all. Nice and big juicy flare. I reckon I could serve it up in any restaurant and it would be eaten up in its entirety. Yep, I'm mighty pleased with that. That's a video for YouTube. <laughs> well, after about three hours of engine operation, feeding my fuel processor here's the secondary flare now what's cool is that I haven't had to baby the gasifier like I've used to in the past don't have to stoke the fuel um, or shake things up or adjust the uh, air mix valve all the time which is good because the automatic controller isn't in place at the moment. So this gasifier is actually working better now than it ever has. Even in its original invert state it was never quite this good. So what would I call this configuration? Perhaps the flash bird. Yes. A mixture of flash and invert the flash bird is born the flash bird phoenix in this case since after all this whole thing did come back from the ashes of its predecessor we have us a nice clean flare there the engine's been happy delivering lots of power and uh, capable of revving much higher than before um, so yeah the whole system has enjoyed a vast improvement from what really is a very small modification so folks and focuses if you have use some spare TikTok maybe you could give this a try yourself and yes it is the sort of thing that I would recommend you try at home well maybe not inside the house but you know what I mean lovely absolutely lovely alrighty my good friends my fellow addicts of wood gas bug venom and wooden wattages here ends this video on a very positive note um, thus far vindicating the effort that I put into making this nozzle system okie donkey boys and girls Ciao for now.